Hey, this is Red Band, and you're listening to Muff Said here at DeathSquad.tv. We have a slight announcement. Uh, Ryan Keeley has been really, really busy lately. She's also been going through some health issues and stuff. She's fine. Everything's good. But, uh, you know, we're trying to help her out a little by letting her have a little bit less stress and work for the for a while. So Muff said it's going to take a little vacation. We will be coming back probably the beginning of the year. Uh, so I'm sorry, you know, you're going to have to take a couple months off. Uh, but we'll be back, and you can always find us on Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, and don't forget, you know, check out some of the other shows. If you're just new at Muff Said, check out what else Death Squad has to offer. And you can always find Death Squad at DeathSquad.tv on iTunes under Death Squad. And uh, if you want to buy a Kitty Cat t-shirt, go to ShopSquad.tv. Um, some updates. Death Squad's going on the road. We will be in Irvine, California, November 12th. Uh, that's going to be with Sarah Tiana, Tony Hinchcliffe, the return of Little Esther, and myself. Uh, you can go to theimprov.com for tickets. It's uh, Death Squad and Comedy Juice. We are uh, teaming up for some shows, and this is our first one. So, again, that's November 12th at the Irvine Improv for the Death Squad Comedy Juice. Also, November 20th, me and Dean Delaray and Christian Sp- uh, Spicker. I don't even know how to say his last name. It's so bad. But uh, Christian's, uh, you know, from the Nerdist channel and all that stuff. Uh, Very funny guy. But we'll be all at Punchline in San Francisco. So uh, check out that. You can always go to DeathSquad.tv and find our Death Squad live shows right on the front page. Just scroll down a teeny bit and you'll see it right there. Um, Also, if you guys want, uh, you know, please help us out by subscribing to us and rating and reviewing our show on Stitch. Uh, iTunes. Uh, We haven't done that in a while, so please, we need that. All right, here is... Is the Muff Said podcast? I am here with my partner in crime, the Mr. Robot Pants. Sup, sup, sup. Sup. Nick has some big news today. Yeah, I'm going to go as Kenny Loggins for Halloween. Oh, wait, that's not what it was, was it? Oh. Uh, yeah, we can talk about that in a little bit, though. Absolutely. And we have a lady guest. Woo! Yay. What? What? We have the wonder Riley of Vanderbilt from Team Unicorn and other nerd projects yeah. here with us. Hello. Welcome. I just want to say, Riley, your website is freaking awesome. Thanks. I built it myself. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, uh, that was last year's uh, resolution, New Year's resolution, was to, learn, uh, was to learn Photoshop and to be able to build my own website. That's awesome. I just got tired of shopping it out to people and, oh, can you guys please help me with this? And then, you know, that never comes back in time. So I was like, I'm going to... I'm going to figure out how to do it myself. Then what happens next, as someone has done this many times, then you start to go, man, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. I think I'm going to have somebody else do this for me. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, it'll be nice, yeah. Because now i got to keep it up, updated, the whole thing. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, good, it's a great website. Do you Thank do you. like uh, WordPress? You use the whole thing scratch from yourself? Uh, or? It, it's, it's WordPress, and I just, um, I just found kind of like a background thing that you can work out of and just start hacking it up yeah. that's yeah. the way to do it yeah that's the best way to do it actually yeah. that's awesome so i'm totally distracted totally yeah both. i don't have a computer this is unfair <laughs> i want to be crotch bear whatever is that tender heart bear right there Ten- is, is crotch t- bear <laughs> tender heart bear right <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at yeah. <laughs> no oh, share. We're right here this oh <laughs> crotch bear <laughs> oh duh crotch bear <laughs> oh that was a good day guys i gotta tell you surrounded by all those oh wow figures. look at all the figures there's my pretty pony there's she-ra there's uh, yeah like you a, may be a visionary this somewhere red band's Spider-Man's new favorite photo there, ever oh, there's voltron yeah oh hello <laughs> Nick just got interested. Yeah. So <laughs> paying attention. This looks like my spare bedroom in my house. And, yeah? and that's a problem why I haven't been in it in for like six months. You don't just nap on your toys? No. I have a room where I just throw everything in now. Like literally a cat, I heard a cat throw up in it today. And I'm like, shit, I'm not going in there. <laughs> Do we need to have a hoarding intervention, you, Brian? Absolutely. If you oh, ever yeah. have a show that you need a book for, for a hoarding show, for I can that's totally, you. there's one room that I am a hoarder in. 
Just the rest, one, though. Everything else is nice everything and clean. Everything else is fine. Yeah. Seen, I've seen photos Great. of your apartment. It always looks so like neat and like modern. Well, yeah. It's because there's that dirty yeah, room you have that, that you one just room. throws everything yeah. in. Well, I went through a phase where I wanted my apartment to walk in to feel like a hotel. Yeah. Like I wanted it basic you do, like, and simple. Thievery Corporation yeah. Yeah, music so I, playing. And, yeah. yeah. I, threw, I threw everything away. Made like lighting. So I have like all this like colored lighting, you know, and shit oh. like that. Oh, yeah. So you walk in and, you know, it's just relaxing. I mm. I had the opposite problem. When I moved to LA, I got rid of all of my shit. Mm-hmm. So and I what my favorite thing in everyone's house is the junk drawer. I love the junk drawer. <laughs> so when I when I moved into my first place, I I created a junk drawer, <laughs> even though I didn't have any junk. So I was like I was finding shit. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put like a fork in there, I'm gonna put some keys in there, and I put like I think I put like a USB key in there that I actually used a lot, but I was like, you know, it's gonna stay in there because that's yeah. a good place to have it. Now I've upgraded to two junk drawers. One of just junk. And now I have like the tech junk drawer, which has like cords and adapters. Oh, that's my favorite junk drawer. It really is. is. (laughs) I have a question for you, Riley Vanderbilt. Is this a. Oh, Oh, oh. no. Did we just kill the show? No. Okay. The show's going. (laughs) Show is still. We just killed the feed where I get a look at myself. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, wow. This shit. Yeah. What? (laughs) We need to get a camera on that. We're taking a a photo afterwards of that. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, wow. Speaking oh of junk, I... No, we, di- we died. So oh, that right. was exciting. Red Band got up to show, show us the craziest bundle of wires try of all again. time. We're going to try take again. a photo while he does this. this yeah. That was the first time that's ever happened. Oh, jeez. This is something I have about... That's his junk. 30 times more. <laughs> wow. That's insane. Oh. That's, that, I was talking bef- right before... Oh, this is the best photo you've ever been in. Uh, we were talking before about how much I love my technically focused junk drawer. And Red Band went to pick up this ball of cords that's bigger than me. And he must have, you must have kicked something or something. Uh, my, this microphone's really stupid. It fell over and broke oh, everything. Yeah, it unplugged everything. That was great. Broke the we're, shit. Back. We're, we're back. back. We're back. But that little ball of cables right there. Little. Or that ball <laughs> at, at my house. I have about 10 more of those. Jeez. And there's actually, that's only half of the ball that's over there. But like that's all important, like adapters and plugs. And Have and you, like ever, today, have you ever sacrificed one of those just to untangle? Like, ah, oh, fuck, I'll cut this one. And then um, the re- <laughs> yeah, no, I'm thinking about just throwing them all away. But then, you know, what if you need that one? Yeah. Like today, like just before when I was hooking up the studio, I needed a USB cable. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, I need a USB cable. And that's On why today's show, Brian admits to being a hoarder. <laughs> Well, that's like, te- that's like, I think everybody ha- is starting to have balls like that, you know, if you have technology. It like makes that. me feel totally like it's like, like the, the giant <laughs> trash island in the middle of the ocean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's little, sea- little tiny, like, technical seagulls flying around <laughs> it. Like that. I just can't wait till we have, like, wireless cables. Like, why don't we have that yet? We have some. I mean, yeah. They have, like... The charging mat or whatever. That's yeah, well, cheating. no, but they have, like, uh, they have, like... Um, Wireless HDMI, but it's like if you if there's if you walk in front of it, it basically stops working, yeah. which kind of sucks. So I always wondered if that works. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there someday. We'll just have all that shit beaming through our bodies. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how we're, it. we're designed to work. Don't overthink stuff. it. Just let it happen. Yeah. It, it will repair autism that way, though. Probably. So just fix the problems of the world. We opened with Kenny Loggins because Nick Aaron's, aka Robot Pants, has been on a major Kenny Loggins uh, fix. Which I'm not sure was this caused by the growing you, of the beard? No, the, no. <laughs> actually, it's a coincidence. So I, I have a I have a new beard. Um, I'm like Red Band too now, um, and uh, I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto. Well, some I've been actually pretty busy. I haven't played as much as I want, but I've been the bits that I've gotten to play have been fantastic. And I've just either put it on the 80 station or nonstop pop in that game. And the 80 station's fantastic. Yeah. And this Kenny Loggins song, I'm Free, which is his other song from the uh, Footloose soundtrack, it's much better than the Footloose song. It played over and over again. I just got fucking hooked. It's in my head constantly. It's all I can think about now. It's like haunting my dreams. That's really bad. And I was like, but at the same time, I needed to have a good Halloween costume. And my Marty McFly isn't going to work with a beard because he never had a beard in the movies. I guess in the third movie, his like great, great, great grandpa who he played had a beard. But that doesn't count. That's stupid. So um, I decided, you know, I could go with fucking Kenny Loggins. And I'm going to have yeah. – I'm going to have <laughs> – I'm, I'm wiring myself up with speakers that no one will be able to see. So when I like I'm Kenny Loggins, I'm gonna hit a button and fucking it's just gonna cut right into the danger zone or cut right into the song and just emanate from me. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna mouth it. Do like, it. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking <laughs> awesome. 
With the dance and everything. Yeah, oh yeah, I gotta get that 80s dance yeah. down where people didn't know how to dance anymore and they just kind of wiggled. <laughs> yeah. I have a bit of a conundrum because my dad and his girlfriend are landing um, from Seattle tonight. I'm actually picking them up right after Muff said. And it's the weekend before Halloween, which is when all of the Halloween parties in Los Angeles are. So yeah. my really slutty ass. Some are happening chaps. the next weekend. For, to be fair, some are actually happening okay. this weekend. Yeah. yeah, the one that I was excited about is this weekend, and I was planning on wearing chaps, which are all chaps are assless. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when they say assless chaps, but chaps yeah, by design. are designed to cover your pants, yeah. not your ass, right? Yeah. 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 So all chaps are assless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's, that's my plan. I was going to wear my, my sequined cowboy costume. And now yeah. with my dad in town, it's put a little bit of a wrench. I'm not sure what I'm going to go as for Halloween. Fucker. What a cock blocker. And I'm also going to find a dad. So my dad likes to party. Oh. Um, so <laughs> oh, I'm trying cool. to figure out like where is it appropriate for me to take my dad and his super fun flight attendant girlfriend for Halloween this weekend. West Hollywood. Uh, uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is there something going on in San Diego this Fuck weekend? Yeah, the Halloween Death Squad Super Show, October 31st. My dad doesn't. He leaves on on Sunday night. Yeah. It's just this weekend. Well, this, this weekend's not Halloween. It's but next, all the Halloween parties are this weekend. Oh, I thought they were doing it next weekend. Since next weekend's Thursday, I it's feel like a lot of them are this weekend. Yeah, they're both. Usually, it's before. Really? It yeah. is yeah. usually before, before because that happens. The second is like Saturday, and that's like All Saints Day or something like yeah. that, which is probably like. I mean, if you actually care about that stuff, it would actually be like the non-Halloween day. But yeah. I think you could have it after because all that candy is going to be cheap. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Man. All that it's candy true. is gonna be really cheap. <laughs> so that's when, what are you going as uh, for Halloween this year, Riley? Uh strangely, I'm not really dressing up this year. But you have so many cosplay costumes. I from have so many what? costumes. Is there one day not to dress up? <laughs> well, uh, I usually uh, my husband and I we do a ton of stuff for uh, Halloween usually, um, but this year there's we just really didn't get invited to any costume parties or anything. What? So, yeah, which is fine. I mean, we do so much. We're going to Universal. Uh, we're doing Delusion, which is a really fun thing to do in L.A. It's like a haunted play. Um, we did the the um, the Hayride. So mm-hmm. we do a lot of stuff for Halloween. We're the just festivities, not dressing yeah. up necessarily this year for Halloween. But I'll probably just throw on something to give out candy to kids on Halloween. You're a party pooper. you got to dress up. I, I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? Well, here's the thing, Come too. To Kamikaze is a day after Halloween. True. And yeah. I might actually be in cosplay for that. So I am it's... definitely going to be in cosplay for Kamikaze. What are you doing? Um, so my Liliana of the Veil costume. Oh, yeah. Which my yeah. mom is helping me make, guys. <laughs> um, actually, she's basically making it with my direction. Um, <laughs> it's mostly done. So um, I'm probably going to wear that Sunday. I'm going to do my Wonder Woman on Saturday. I'll be competing in the du- the uh, dual-headed dragon um, sealed deck tournament at yeah. Star City. <laughs> She'll be there. And then Friday, I'm going to be in the fashion show for Castle oh, yeah. Corsi's Corsi fashion show. So I think I'm wearing a Sith, Sith robe for that. Mm, I feel nice. like that's what, what I'm wearing. So Pretty evil. So it's like Halloween all weekend. Pretty like, much, see? yeah. Next weekend. So many costumes. <laughs> but I want to take my dad out and show him a good time. West Hollywood. Hooters. Well, <laughs> is West Ho- Hollywood happening this weekend or is no it actually going to happen on Halloween? I'm actually really bad at Halloween. I have no idea. On Halloween. Yeah, I think I, that's why I think next weekend's the big weekend. Mm. Yeah. Because it it's be. like, I mean, Friday and Thursday, I think it's just going to be craziness. Like yeah. this weekend, I, don't, I didn't even think about it. No, weekend. a lot of the clubs will have their parties this weekend. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If they were all if, if if they were all smart, they would have both fucking weekends. Yeah. They'd be like double weekend Halloween they extravaganza. Probably will be. I feel like Halloween is Los Angeles's event because I have never seen no other town goes as hard as LA goes oh, for Halloween. You should oh. uh, you should go to uh, Madison. It's like every major state school in the Midwest converges on Madison. It's like it's like one hundred fifty thousand people in the street in costume. It's insane. I bet New Orleans goes pretty hard, too. Yeah. New Orleans I've does go heard. very does it, hard. Does it? Yeah. No, Probably. New Orleans. Okay, if you want to go to New Orleans, do not go for Mardi Gras. I lived there for a year. I know these things. <laughs> go for Halloween because it's yeah. you get all of the floats without the Crazy douchey packedness. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun and it's not too packed. Oh, yeah. Madison's super douchey on Halloween. Don't get me wrong. It's like douche central. It's all yeah. a bunch of Midwest state school <laughs> bros like, <"S-> <laughs> but if you want a shitload of people in costumes, that's a good place to go. They're all, you know, 21 Co-ed, and dumb. College yeah. girls and like, let me see what I can do. Oh, I can be a slutty cat. 
Yeah. I'm going to be a slutty cat. <laughs> no, shots. my favorite, Can my favorite shots. sexy girl costume, which which just yes. makes me laugh every time, is the girl who just wears just some black clothes and then buys a little headband with cat ears. Yeah, like, I'm a cat. I'm just like, oh god, you should just you should just been the person that didn't dress up because that's what you did. I hate that. Um, I have a question about one of the pictures on your website, Riley of Vanderbilt. Oh, no. Uh-oh. oh boy. Um, I'm in trouble. Is this you and the other team unicorn girls in a pile of triples? Yeah. That's yeah, that happens. Awesome. It's so good. hot. <laughs> so, Where is it? It's go to still in Ryan's and promotional this is miscellaneous. <laughs> go go to the go to the gallery. How come you quit bringing your laptop to the show, Nick Aaron? Oh wow! Sorry. That. Yeah. Ooh. That's sexy. It's a lot of troubles. The trouble, trouble with triples. With tri- yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> the trouble with tribbles and pretty ladies. <laughs> so where did all of the tribbles come t- from and where did they go? Yeah, where yeah. are they? Can I have a couple? Uh, <laughs> that shoot, like uh, we, we actually shot for Star Trek magazine or one of the magazines. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Star Trek just let us Had borrow them. a whole bunch of them. And I don't know what happened to them afterwards. I have no idea. They probably get... Uh, I actually have, you know. There's probably a triple infestation. Ready, ready for this? Uh, I, I've watched. I've watched a doc. There's an awesome documentary about just the archives of Star Trek, and they're freaking hardcore about it. They have like these sealed warehouses. Yeah. With like they build custom shelving to hold everything perfectly. Uh, it's kind of amazing. So they're probably just locked away. Probably. A lot of those studios have like. I, I remember talking. We were working with Fox at one point, and for like aliens, they have this like underground vault of stuff yeah. that's like literally underground and like sealed. So I'm, they, they probably just are sealed up. Maybe. Yeah. Or like that. Maybe. Um, okay, oh, so yeah. that's an amazing Wonder Woman picture. Yeah. I like it. But there is... We should just watch the movie. Because I brought Riley on because she was in this amazing... <laughs> well, A, because I've been trying to get her on for forever. And B, now she can promote her awesome <laughs> Wonder Woman short. Uh, tell us a little bit about the short. Uh, well, the short, it, it's really it's just a concept piece. I, I don't want to call it a short because a lot of people have watched it and been like... There's no story. And I'm like, I know there's not a lot of story. Um, but basically it was made uh, by people who just love Wonder Woman and want to see her done right. And uh, they, uh, they just wanted to show Hollywood that it can be done in a way that people respond really well to where it's not super cheesy or super over the top sexy or, it, you know, it's finding a, the right balance uh, and they they kind of set out to do that, and I think we I think we accomplished that. It also what's cool about this is it is it once again the internet is just busting the walls down with Hollywood and yeah. just their rules and like like you know just the their, the traditional way of doing everything just is not true anymore. Like yeah. you can make stuff, you know, people can just make shit without ever talking to. You know, you don't have to get clearances. You like, I mean, obviously, like licensing clearance, but you don't have to like, you don't have to, but you know, green light a twenty million dollar budget, whatever, whatever, whatever. You can just do stuff now. Well, mostly as a fan, I think yeah. it's opened the door for fan films. Definitely, uh, if you want to make money off of fan films, obviously you can't do that. But right. if you just no, correct. want to do a labor of love, which is what this was, um, you can definitely Let's take do a look that. at it.
Nice. That was really cool. There were some amazing shots in that. It's beautiful. Yeah. For those of you that are audio only listeners, you can find it by just uh, going to YouTube and searching Wonder Woman. It's a short film by Rainfall Films. It's yeah. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, the company who did it is a visual effects company. They do uh, visual effects for huge music videos and um, movies and stuff like that. Uh, and when we, we shot it, it was literally everything was in front of a green screen. I had no idea how it was going to turn out. So uh, when I finally saw it, I was like, oh, wow, this is, this is really good, right? That's awesome. <laughs> That's super good. cool. Yeah. I like this, this is my favorite shot right here. I just like the lighting. I thought the lighting was yeah, pretty sweet. They did a great job lighting yeah. it. And it, it yeah, it's it's rad too because it's like I like uh, it. It, w- it would have been super easy to just do Wonder Woman just fighting a bunch of dudes in the street, yeah. but doing like the the like diff- the like jump between like her world and our world, was... which is the part I really like. I think if you're gonna do Wonder Woman, I think it's smart to go the route of Thor and really show the origin story and like where they come from and the the difference between her world and our world, right? Um, Thor, yeah. I mean Thor. What I liked about Thor is it borderlined on Metallica album cover, or you know, like 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 it was just <laughs> yeah. like it was just super metal. That movie yeah. for a movie that has like no metal in it. That movie was super metal. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited for the new Thor movie? Uh yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I like that because I, I don't think Kenneth Branagh is coming back as director, and I liked him a lot. Um, I, I could be wrong. Um, it, the last one was good. I just, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big superhero, like knowledgeable dude. Yeah. I just learn, I learn everything literally from what people tell me and, you know, cause I don't really read the comics, but, um, I did see that, that, uh, that, uh, Captain America. Oh, that looks good, fucking, right? I was like, wow. I haven't seen it. Impressive. Winter Soldier. Yeah. Wow. I was, I was, cause they showed the, they showed the poster first and I was like, eh. Like it's just him standing in a cargo plane. I was like, oh, they, could, they probably could have, you know, stepped up the imagination on that a little bit. But then I saw the uh, uh, the trailer, and I was actually really impressed. I, I I love Marvel's consistency thing that they're doing with this whole world. Like, yeah, they're it doing all a together. really good job. I think uh, DC needs to step it up. Yeah, I a agree. Bit. I agree. I am not excited for Superman versus Batman at all. I just. I, is this Bieber thing true? What the fuck? Is this Bieber thing actually I happening? I don't think it's I true. I know that's happening. Okay. But I, I, well, I'm not excited for Superman versus Batman. I'm really excited for the gay porn parody. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be popular. Did you guys ever see Supergirl? Do you remember that, that oh, yeah. movie back in the day? I, no. think, I didn't know they made a movie out oh, of yeah. it. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. a movie. Here's a preview of it. Oh, wow. It's so ridiculous. It was pretty bad, if I remember. She came halfway across the universe in search of a cosmic power source that could save her world from destruction. Who is she? Who on earth are you? You know, I think I recognize the costume. From the producers of Superman, Alexander Solkind presents Supergirl in her first great adventure. Wait a minute, wait one minute. I mean, you can do the whole number, leap tall buildings at a single bound? You can look right through things? Yes. <laughs> Bend steel bars? Yes. Like Superman. <laughs> He's my cousin. Whoa. <laughs> Far out, bro. Look, she's even at jewelry. Face to face with diabolical villains. I'm considering nothing less than world domination. Like Alexis Luther? Who was that? <laughs> Ginger. Is that a big Q tip? Yeah, I was just going to say, she's dropping a pin on a map. Wow. She's <laughs> dropping a pin on a map. <laughs> and super action. I'm assuming Richard Donner was not involved with this. <laughs> Look how fast that's going. It's even making the lights go fast. <laughs> Is it Faye Dunaway? Yeah. Totally. yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> rude. That <was laughs> Just ruined your rude. water supply, yeah. Whoops, Illinois. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's little hamster balls. No, it's the... It's in American Gladiators. Oh, right. That's right. That's what that was. Oh, no. She's in class. Oh, no. Starring Faye Nunaway. Now I am really... Killing my career. <laughs> Peter O'Toole. Wow. The corrupt, the evil. Uh, yeah. Is he a the drunk, man. too? Amazing. With no way out. Peter Cook. You got to think that back then, like, this was, like, a big deal. People were thinking, yeah. like, fuck, this is going to be the when next huge thing. Mark McClure. What Good old turn. Mark McClure. Hi, Who's Mark McClure? Heart, I don't know. <laughs> heart boner. <laughs> His heart boner. Wow. 
She's like my cousin or something. <laughs> and introducing Helen Slater. Poor Helen, where is she now? Supergirl. She's pretty. She is pretty. Super I want to know. Pretty. Seriously, where is she now? <laughs> Supergirl. She's probably bitter and over the hell. Wow. I got, I got to look her up now. <laughs> what was her name again? Helen, Helen Slater. Slater. I wonder if she's related to the Christian Slater. Oh. They both have that kind of vibe. <laughs> Um. Wow. I didn't even know that got made because I used to watch yeah. Superman movies when I was a kid. No, I remember watching that. Oh, really? Oh, there she is. Supergirl, what happened to you? What's she doing She's now? She's still very attractive. Mm. This looks like Lifetime. <laughs> Total. Well, yeah. On a special Lifetime event. Oh. Nope, there's Supergirl. Yeah. Supergirl's even on her reel now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess that's her claim to fame, guys. Uh, I guess that had to be a big, humongous deal, though. Back What she's doing now, though. Oh, she's still working. Kind of. The Lion Game. Rock We're just like, well, yeah. Yeah, TBS, Model so. Minority. Drop Dead Diva. Rock yeah. the House. Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Wow. SVU. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're, if you're on Grey's Anatomy and, and SVU, you're doing all right. I feel like. You're doing okay. You know what? Uh, She's working. My yeah. favorite uh, moving to LA story ever uh, about it involves SVU is I was at the farmer's market and I was just eating lunch and there was this table of like six old dudes eating lunch together. And they were all like extras that had like been on SVU, and they were just talking about their like like oh yeah I played uh, I played the grandpa the girl that got murder- murdered oh yeah I actually played the crack dealer it was like it was fucking amazing but it was all old guys that all worked on SVU having a lunch wow. together like they like got together one time and were like you know what? we should start like a club like an SVU club like weird old character white guy actor club for SVU that's what it was it was amazing. That does sound amazing. Uh, what is also amazing is the new app that I have on my phone and have been harassing Nick Aarons with yeah. today. Uh, did I... Uh, misleading photographs is mi- what they... Misleading photographs. Did I send you the Hawkward one? No, you sent me one that says, look at my junk. And it's, it's actually a picture of junk. Um, so <laughs> Zip It is... Uh, it's an app that helps you get flirty chat back on the right track. It's packed with killer comebacks and top tips to help you stay in control of your chat game. So what? It's so if, if you like mix this with like <laughs> Tinder or Grinder or something like that, you're just going to be an unstoppable force. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's designed for children um, oh, okay, to have bad. comebacks <laughs> when uh, when people try to to sext them. And, oh, that's uh, actually really smart. Not only does it come with uh, several quote unquote hilarious memes <laughs> um, <laughs> it also has a easy link to called child line which is a non-profit child uh counseling hotline in the uk that's actually really smart yes that's actually really smart but as an adult i'm just really enjoying sending hawkward to people oh man hawkward i gotta hawkward. get this app hawkward hawkward I've, kids have already found a way to like uh use it but then the wrong way. <laughs> of course, of course, immediately, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> kiss my teeth. And... <laughs> I don't understand the kiss my. Apparently, that's a thing the kids say. They, yeah, because when your teeth bump when you're making out, that's like the worst oh, thing yeah. ever. That's immediately it's a like rude thing. That's immediately it's what rude? you think about. Yeah, it's like kiss my teeth. Really? Which makes no sense. They're gonna bite you. Yeah. You know what that you know what that sounds like? It sounds like us as old people like like I don't get a kid. Yeah, like, it's like it's my teeth it's now. My teeth. There's a bunch of kids right now on on fucking Snapchat going, these fucking kids, these guys don't get it. They're fucking stupid. Old people, old people are dumb. <laughs> Naked selfie just ain't elfy with a picture of an elf. <laughs> Just yeah, but you know, to me, if, if I'm sexting a kid and somebody, sent that, <laughs> and somebody sent that back to me and I was like, oh, this kid's playful. <laughs> you know Cl- I mean? Clever girl. Clever girl. <laughs> hey, Nick Wait, Aarons, girl. how are you not going to offer a beer to our producer, Brian Redman? I did. I did. And he oh, said he was drinking coffee. Drinking coffee. Oh. I, just had, I woke up and had sushi and then had coffee after sushi, so I'm all backwards. So. Your diet's mm. really healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Sushi's good for you. You eat at 3 a.m. every day. <laughs> uh, well, I wake up at 3 a.m. 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> what day is this? What day is this? Yeah. Wait, yeah. By the way, you were talking earlier about like Halloween costumes as a kid. And I yes, always, let's do this. Let's I do was this. always the same shit because my mom was brokester. Yeah, me so too. She would, give, yeah. she would have this box of old uh, blankets and, and, and sheets and I would be a, 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 a uh, ghost every year. Like she would just like fucking <laughs> like, like, put out the holes in the sheet <laughs> yeah. and then it would always be like a blood what? period stain somewhere on the sheet. Oh. So I threw it away. And That's the so worst. It's, like like, it's like a flower. Right. Sheet. It's not no. even like, it's like yeah. I was like ghost that got shot. You know. <laughs> oh. I was I in 
1991, there was like a legendary blizzard in Minneapolis, uh, and I still went out on on the uh, in the uh, neighborhood and collected candy. And I was like super ghetto Batman because we we didn't have any money either. Basically, like I got we like my mom found this Batman tank top uh-huh. that was like an extra large for a grown man. So she like she basically she fucking rigged that shit to be like like a ta- like a, a shirt mixed with cape in one. Nice because it was so big. And then I wore like black. It was like the most ghetto costume ever. <laughs> and even though it was the literally the worst blizzard in recorded history for the state. I was like, I'm not put. I can't put a jacket over this. I am so <laughs> really? cool. I am so cool right now. Wow! And I rocked it. And it was like, I mean, it wasn't that much snow. It was like three feet of snow in, in like a night, um, which is a lot for that part of the the country. But mm-hmm. as a kid, I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going, man. I need this candy. I'm gonna be Batman. <laughs> I remember, being, like, I remember being so mad. Which like, well, it's snowing. We shouldn't go. I'm like, I don't we're fucking going. care if we're, we're going. We're going. It's happening. This is not. This is not. You don't have a choice in this. Yeah. It's the one night a year that I get to decide what happens. We're going. <laughs> Did you ever have the? It's friend? my time. It's my yeah. time. Did you have the friend that actually found something like a fish hook in their fi- in their candy? No, or something like no, that? Like, we I did. We did fake. We did have a fucking. We did have a fucking dude who would give out a uh, toothpaste and a toothbrush yeah. every year. Yeah. Dentist. Yeah. Oh, They're God. the worst. Oh, Stay away from the dentist. So yeah. mad. So mad fucking about that. Dentist. And accountants with their rulers. Oh really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would <Never>. have rulers? <laughs> maybe an architect. Yeah. 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 Like, maybe. What? Uh, there was a dude thing. in our neighborhood too that would give out apples, and one year these oh. kids took the apples and they just threw them through his window. <laughs> they were super fucking pissed because the apple's a heavy fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. They're like fuck this. No and, treat, fine. And then Trick, I remember, I remember hearing like you know I remember hearing the the neighbors like a couple of days later, like, I can't believe they, the kids did that. They're just terrible. And, like you know, <laughs> arms crossed, like standing there talking. Like about how it. we would be if that. Yeah, exactly. Us. Like uh, yeah. God, we're all God, getting kids old, guys. these days. Fucking kids. I remember when I was their age. That never happened. I was respectful. There was also the guy who dressed up as a goddamn scarecrow, sat on the bench out in the ah! floor, and, oh. yes. and, oh, and you're like, oh, and like, oh, it's so I good. feel like, so like when I was a kid, that was funny, and yeah. like, it was like terrifying as a kid, but I'm sure like my parents thought it was the fucking funniest thing in the world, because I would if I was a parent. Yeah. Now I feel like if you do that, it's probably legal, and you'll probably get arrested if you fucking oh, like sure. scare a child in public or something like that. Like those I don't know. people used to always get stabbed too. I don't know if you remember, <laughs> like in the news, that was always a thing. Like some guy was you know dressed up as a scarecrow, and then somebody like put a knife on him. You know, like, got so scared, yeah. like oh, yeah. oh, oh, stab. Yeah. Turns out their costume knife was real. Speaking of things in the news, um. There's a bear loose in Pasadena. Just, yeah. just actively, actively, yeah. Which is where loose? the studio is right now. Yes, right the second. There's loose a bear within a proximity of, of us. There's always been Pasadena bears. They, they, they come. There's like this family of beer bears. Beers. Beers. <laughs> there's mm. this family of bears that live like in the mountains, and they always just come out and hang out. Hang out. Like like the, like every couple months, you hear these, these bears coming back out. But today was weird because the bear actually was about to get on the highway. Oh. And so, like, was like, like considering it, yeah, he, he was like right at the end, and so like the the police didn't know what to do because they they've been working with these bears for a while, so they're not they usually trank kill. them and bring yeah. them back to the hills, right? Well, yeah. they're just coming down to forage for food before they hibernate right. for the winter. Right. That's what that's so they're, they, they're bur- just trying to find. They're going to Burger King and like trying to <laughs> yeah. get a couple burgers in their belly and then go hang out. Yeah, yeah. but I, I guess the the cops had to like resort to like throwing rocks at the bear just to get it away from the highway. I have video of it in two seconds. Here we go. Have you? Oh, after this, we gotta look at. Oh, wow! Oh, the little bear. Hi, guys. They're such cute. Have you ever That's seen so Have you ever seen that photo of a bear with no fur? Huh? Oh, they're yeah. weird looking. It's right? Horrible. They look, look like that, they look like nightmare creatures. Yeah. Why are the Why is their cars oh, still going on bear. this highway? Where's the cops at? The bear yeah. clearly is like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I, that That doesn't look safe. No. Have you seen that video of the bear getting terrified by a kitten? Yeah. Oh, I oh, love it's that one. Ama- it's like a gif or something. That like one looks that. like a young bear too. It does look like a young bear. I'm just looking for my picnic basket. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you did impressions. Ah, oh, boo boo! I can do it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Remember that movie they made? Yeah, that it was, was horrible. Awful. Remember? Did you guys ever see the guy that did Ren and Stimpy did a Yogi? The bear short. No. Yes, it's and it, awesome. It was, can we watch one of the, it right now? Yeah, but it's pretty long. But it was one of the best. I hi, highly recommend it. Let me see if I can find it on YouTube. But it, it's just dirty. It's yeah, gross. It's awesome. And I it's think, super awesome. I think Boo Boo went crazy. Like he went psychotic <laughs> and tried to murder everybody or something. Oh, it's it's super good. Yeah, I think yeah he goes crazy. Like I think he, like takes drugs or something like that and like tries to kill somebody. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. 
oh, from the mind of a, of a crazy person. It's uh, it's called on YouTube. Uh, oh wait, this is not the whole thing. Never mind. Uh, it's worth checking out. Absolutely yeah, worth yeah. checking out. Boo Boo Runs Wild is what it's called. It's on YouTube, and it's it really is. I mean, if if they had yeah, actually made this a cartoon, this would have been, I think, the biggest cartoon. I think they aired this on uh, Adult Swim a few times. Yeah, and it's like the same same voices the and un- animation style. Uh, he'll be back. <laughs> but it's just it's just. Let me see if I can find. And like Ranger Rick. Is actually going to shoot Boo Boo, like, and kill him. They were pink and swollen. I know your game, Yogi. How cute was he? Really cute, Yogi. And how about the time you were sick with the croup? <laughs> the croup. But anyways, check it out. I highly recommend it. He that that animator. He also had a Kickstarter. I forget his name right offhand, but uh, he also had a Kickstarter. I, I'm a big fan of that guy, John K. I think his name is. Yeah. Uh, so Brennan Stimpy was like it was such taboo when it came out. I As a kid, Brent you were just Stimpy. like you were just like like is it okay that I'm watching this? This is on like my channel. It's on Nickelodeon. Yeah, and they're yeah. eating scabs for breakfast. Like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> The best. I blame Ren and Stimpy, Beavis and Butthead, and a way too early introduction to Hentai for like why I'm broken <laughs> as an adult. Ah, all animation's fault. Is there any anime that you're watching right now that you're into? Riley of Vanderbilt? Uh, anime? No. I, I haven't watched anime in a while, I don't think. I mean. What are you watching these days? Oh, God. TV. It's overwhelming, right? Uh, basically, anything that is supernatural at all, which is everything on TV right like now. Like the show Supernatural? Like, Shield. like Supernatural, <laughs> S.H.I.E.L.D., <laughs> I uh, seen it which is of East End, the originals, Vampire Diaries. There's so many. Are you going to watch the new Dracula? Out? Oh, yeah. gosh, yeah. Jonathan, Jonathan Reese-Meyer. Yes. I Look how to... soapy that looks, guys. He looks exactly the same in everything he does, though. He's so just like, he's like, I'm yeah, so no, bad. none of us have a problem with oh, that. Oh, I know you don't. I know you leave. That's so. like called like the J O hour. That's what that show is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ladies go home. They Except, buy did you ever see that, that horrible movie that I think Luke Besson made it because he either makes amazing movies or shitty movies, and he made uh, from Paris with Love with John Travolta and, and him. I avoided that because I couldn't deal with John Travolta's weave. <laughs> oh, it, no, he didn't have a weave. He was bald with a goatee. Oh, and then it was Jonathan Rhys Meyers playing worse. like just a really stupid dude. Like he was just yeah. dumb. I it was a horrible dumb. movie. It was a it's horrible movie. Too pretty movie. to be smart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of TV out right now, and I feel like it's all genre based, which is great for somebody like me. Um, mm-hmm. You know, they've got of, Sleepy it, it really Hollow. Is, yeah, it's really like the golden age right now. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. It's kind of awesome. Golden age television, guys. They need a good. They need a real. They really do need a good new sci-fi show though because I agree Star Trek stuck in development hell because they don't know what to do with it now that they reboot it so they don't know how to handle it for TV mm-hmm. you know BSG's done it was I mean that was like that was so good and now they all the other sci-fi shows right now are all the ones that are basically like it's like a cop but then there's like a sci-fi angle mm-hmm. and like, like that's, Eureka a little bit yeah well like, that was funny Eureka yeah. was a comedy that yeah. I liked Eureka a lot but it's more like um like the was it not the happening? It was like the incident and like the you know the shows that Lost inspired. But there's a isn't there? I think TNT has that show falling. Is it Falling Skies? Falling, falling Skies. It's it's okay. It's a little. Yeah. It's kind of corny. Um, and then the, like it's Revolution. Been, it's been on for a while, but it, I don't feel like it's really gained mainstream traction. We actually um, one of our early episodes we had Peter Shinkoda and Mpao Kahu from the show on. And I guess it has somewhat of a following. Falling Skies? Yeah. Well, it's got definitely. They keep renewing it. I mean, they're on their like, fourth season or something like that. But I don't know anyone that watches it. I tried it, and I just, like, and it's, it's the, the just, you know what my problem with is? The alien design is just so stupid. Mm. It's just so, just like, like, first, and this is really mean. I apologize ahead of time, but it's actually, it's like first year art school design for aliens. It's just like, I'm going to make a crazy looking alien. Like, that's what it is. It's like, there's no, where if you look at like the, the other really good sci-fi properties out there, like Mass Effect, where they like yeah. thought about their aliens. They're like, like, how would they look? How could they look based on where they're from? Like, it all made sense. Whereas this was just kind of corny to me. So I, I, I want a good space-based sci-fi something. Like, what about really Defiance? Have you seen Defiance? I, I, I have, I, I've been kind of following that just cause there's a lot, a lot of that was also part of the game industry cause it was like, yeah. a, it was like a tag team thing right. and it's, it's, it's pretty typical sci-fi TV show, like sci-fi channel TV show. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's stuck in its budget. Yeah. It's clearly one of those shows that's stuck in its budget. We need like a new Firefly, a new Battlestar, Agreed. Black, a new Star Trek. We need, I want that. we need a big studio Let's to go. It. You know what? Let's, Let's throw it, fucking $3 million in an episode of this. Let's do it. 
Something like that, yeah. Well, you know. I mean, Lost was amazing the first season. Yeah, but still, I still and watched it. Did you still watch it? No. Nope. Well, I felt like I had to I only did because I invested so much time in the first couple of seasons, and I was like, I, I just got to stick with it until the end. Yeah. Maybe I they actually losses. know what they're I talking about. I no. cut my losses. I cut my losses. Same thing with Heroes, yeah. first season, or first season of Heroes, and I was like, I'm done. But that was a better, well, like, yeah. Lost was probably a better, like, watch through than Heroes, for sure. Heroes, there was, like, definitely a huge decline in quality. I, it was <laughs> the, writer's, uh, the writer's strike, though. I feel like a second season. That fucked season, a lot of stuff up, yeah, yeah. it just screwed everything up, and when they came back from it, they... You know, I feel like the writer's like, strike just fucked up TV in general. Because remember yeah. when every show was 24 fucking episodes a season? Yeah, now which you're I like, now know because now they're you, like, you have me watching The West Wing. Oh, oh love it. Um, not sci-fi, but fantastic TV. Really oh, man, TV. Aaron Sorkin needs to make a goddamn sci-fi show. That's what he needs <gasps> oh. to do. We need a really smart, sexy, sassy high-level, sassy, yeah. like po- poetic. No one talks in real life like Aaron, like he, like he writes. But I want a sci-fi show like that. Holy that shit, fine. that'd be amazing. Man, okay, that that's the Kickstarter I can get behind. <laughs> How do we get Aaron Sorkin involved? <laughs> Aaron Sorkin, West Wing, and space. Yeah. There we go. Anything in space, dude. And like, like he, like, and, and I'm about, I'm probably about to get a shitload of hate if they tweets do, for this. Like, but like, no, 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 like the Star Wars, like, ooh, Star Wars, like intergalactic congress in space, written by by Aaron Sorkin. There you I go. feel like that's totally a part of it. Star Wars that everyone hated. But, but if Aaron expect- Sorkin did it. But they're expecting the true. action. Don't make it Star Wars. Make like Space Congress or something like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you see the, the big news today? They, they kicked the other writer off of Star Wars and now Abrams himself and somebody else can't remember who it was that was actually going to write the new movies himself. Good. Oh, yeah. Good. Which is cr- I wonder which is- what happened. I mean, they're probably, probably... Like what happened is they're trying to make new Star Wars movies and it's going to be... I, I'm a little... The only reason this won't be in development hell is because of the money that they can throw at it. But I yeah. internally have a feeling this is going to be a clusterfuck for Disney and, and LucasArts because they're. Or, it's I'm a sorry, big Lucasfilm. project. It's a, I mean, it's really. How, a but it's not, only, not only is it big, but how do you do it right? Well, I mean, how many rewrites is and, this shit going to go through? And here's the thing, too. I know that they really want to gear the new Star Wars towards kids. Yeah. So for our generation who grew up with it's um, not gonna be dark like four, five, and six, I just feel like I'm sorry. You you mean just the trilogy? There, there's yeah. other movies. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have to acknowledge the first ones, though, though, because it allows you to acknowledge all the other cool Star Wars shit they've I, done. I can like Knights of the I Old can Republic. deal with yes. it being five it makes you movies. appreciate. Yeah. The it's just trilogy. The, it's the first one. It's, it's awful. Just fucking terrible. Yeah, it's it's terrible. awful. So GD terrible. Can't deal with it. Yeah. Is oh, it yeah. gonna die? <laughs> I, I, and, and I feel like the first one was written the same way a lot of animes are written which is like they feel like they have to explain every fucking thing and they can't let mm-hmm. anything hang in the hang, right. hang as a mystery they're like you know what Metachlorians <laughs> do we need to know it's just magic Darth guys Vader it's just Mace, magic Darth it's Ma- magic honestly Can we Jar Jar Binks Metachlorians whatever you know what pissed me off the most huh. Anakin Skywalker made C-3PO and yeah. everyone forgot and R two D two is just always fucking there. Like he's just always there. <laughs> he's just always around. No one seems to ever remember the fact that these guys were like, like they should have been legends. Like fuck, it's fucking R two D two. That fucking thing is a legend. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I think I went on so many adventures. Like and then the fact that Darth Vader made C three. I was like, how could Darth Vader, one of the most badass villains of all time, make one of the lamest robots in the history of robots? <laughs> I'm C three PO. I'm Darth fucking Vader. Like it's just yeah. oh, it's just. <laughs> Maybe maybe C three PO is Darth Vader's alter ego. Ooh, maybe C three PO is who ah. a Darth Vader wanted to be. He wanted to be a prissy little robot, which he was kind of prissy in some of them. He was, he, yeah. of course, he was. Oh really god, he was so he was. whiny. The whole reason, so whiny. The whole reason he was there was to just accent the goofiness of R two D two. I honestly yeah. believe so because he just wasn't that helpful as a character. I, Not at all. I don't like C three PO. I think he looks awesome because he's ripped off of Metropolis, but I don't like him. Yeah. Yeah. I see that. <laughs> On that note, so you have some big news, Nick Aarons. You have not been talking about this yeah. for how many episodes? Oh, God. A like lot. Almost a year. Um, didn't take us a year to make this game. Uh, we announced our game today. It's called, and it's, 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 uh, it's, um, we're pretty proud of this because we, 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 made our, we based our game off of one of the oldest games in the history of the idea of gaming in general, which is tic-tac-toe, but it's not called tic-tac-toe. It's just three in a row, basically. Three in a row is... They can trace it back to, I mean, pre, like, Egyptian era, whatever. If you, if you go on a radio lab, you can listen to an amazing thing about tic-tac-toe. So what we did, we have something called tic tactics, which is a <laughs> mixture of chess and tic-tac-toe where, you know, the players uh, decide each other's moves by the, what, what they're going to do. And you play on a mega board that's 9 by 9 versus 3 by 3 
and you know the move you make will determine the move that your player makes. So you can't in almost all two player games every move you make is aggressive. But if you play that way in tic tactics, you'll lose really quickly. So you have to every single move you make is defensive and offensive at the same time. So when you start to learn how to play, you catch yourself going, "Oh my god, I'm, what am I, how am I going to make this move?" Super simple game, very basic. Website, there's the website that is right there. Um, so you, you want to win small games of tic-tac-toe to win the big game of tic-tac-toe. And it's yeah. surprisingly very addictive. If you know how to play tic-tac-toe, which we've found out pretty much every single person on this planet knows how to play tic-tac-toe, you can play this game. <laughs> but, it's, but it's unlike regular tic-tac-toe where a six-year-old and you can be equ- equally matched. This is like, it takes a really long time to get good at this game in a hmm. fun way. So that's what we've been working on. And you get to battle people in real time. Yeah, somebody today, uh, some somebody on Twitter called it... Uh, uh, Deathmatch with X's and O's, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses, yeah. We've been signing our press releases with XOXO. 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 Yeah, it was pretty good. So that's it. That looks fun, man. Yeah, it's super fun, super simple. It's one of those games where you can literally make a move while you're waiting in line for a burrito. Is it it on uh, all the the Androids and iOS? uh, Right now, if you live in Canada, you can download it on Google. (laughs) <laughs> um, soon on because we, we you know we do test market we we want to because the game has an economy we have to make sure the economy is balanced before we release it wide to the world because our our games actually tend to go pretty big like our last game did seven and a half million downloads we got to make sure that it works before we do it so you know we we, we so this is for all the Canadians out there all the Canadians <laughs> get on Google Play and get on Google Play um, it's gonna be on Android it's gonna be on iOS it's gonna be on um, Eventually, it's going to be on Amazon. I mean, every major platform. All of the places. All of the places. All it's all free. The places. It's free Kindle to play. Kindle Fire? What? Kindle Fire. It's free to play. Um, and we're actually pretty nice about it. We're not, we're not trying to screw you over. Unlike we're, the yeah. new Plants vs. Zombies 2, which yeah. is fucking terrible. It's a good game, but it's... The, the, I'm not going beyond the paywall. Yeah. They, they didn't hook <laughs> me enough. To, and I've spent money on games. We, yeah. we all know why I had to get yeah. rid of my iPad. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to get the new iPad? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh man! I kind of so want bad. one. I really want talk one. About that. So real quick to preface this, I think I think the previous Apple's famous for their press conference. Did you say there. to preface this? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Preface, preface, whatever. Fuck off. <laughs> I say innovative and major. So that's I can't all right. I, I can't. It's I talk innovative. like I talk and eat like an eight-year-old. It's fine. Um, to to kind of set this up, I think, and I think Red Band will agree with me. The previous Apple's so known for the press conferences; they're like that's part yeah. of their theater, and that's it's almost what it's almost fun to get into the press conference just because of the theatrics of it. It doesn't even matter if you're an Apple person or not; you just you, people still watch it anyways. Yeah. And um, the last one they did for the new iPhone was really underwhelming. It was mm-hmm. just kind of like, yeah, we have, we have a couple new phones. Yeah. So this time, they had a press conference and they announced two new iPads, new laptops, new computers, operating systems. I mean, they went. Free fucking, operating like system, which is free, amazing. Which That's is a great idea. Super aggressive move. Yeah. I think it's in response to Windows making theirs super cheap to upgrade to. Is that Maverick? Maverick, yeah. Yeah, Mavericks, I think I've already yeah. uploaded that. I, I, yeah, I, 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 didn't really, I don't really notice anything too oh, different my except computer, the Finder. My computer runs super fast now. It's oh, awesome. does it? Oh, a total big difference, yeah. It's fantastic. But the new, um, new iPad, though. The new iPad's scary. super thin and light. They've yeah. modeled it after the, the, the Mini, which I think is the best um, right. digital, or the best, like, um, device, a touchscreen device out there. The iPad Mini currently is just amazing. So yeah. for them to update the big one and the small one even to be you know retina and fast. And, mm-hmm. the and surviving drops like that? Oh, that was kind of a little bit of a weak drop in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> they let it go like two feet from the top. It's amazing how powerful it is also and that the, the Mini is going to have the same processor as and the screen, big one. all that kind of and stuff. Yeah. And I, I, I just, I constantly maintain that like, yes, the Mini is just, is fantastic. But they also announced new laptops. They announced and the new Mac Pro, which is yeah. not really relevant to the average person, but the I want one. They haven't they haven't Ugh. upgraded this Pro computer in years and years. And Why years. do you scoff at me wanting a MacBook Pro? No, I th- I th- Mac, I th- Pro. Mac Pro. Mac Pro. The Mac Pro. Well, I've just had a very bad history with their towers, Apple's yeah. towers. I've had it since G4, what I think G5, and then the new Intel one. I've had all the top of the line towers because I used to do video editing. Yeah. I have had a problem with all their towers. Their logic boards suck. Their their shit like it, that shit broke you've down. Bad, you've bad luck with technology, though. I feel like <laughs> yeah, but not, when it comes to computers, I really never have problems with my MacBooks too much. Like yeah. just like little things, or and never have problems with my iMacs. Yeah. My 
iMacs are just fucking battle proof. But these, unless they've, you know, you know, this is a whole new design, so I might try it out. But right. like, you know, past experience with their towers, but have they, just been the, shit. The, the new th- you have to, like people have to if they're going to start buying these Mac products now. Like I think a lot of people don't understand that Mac is completely changing the way consumers can use their computers because. Like with the new MacBook Pros, you can't upgrade the RAM, you can't upgrade no. the hard drive, you can't upgrade any of that stuff. It's all flashed. It's all built right in. Yeah. And same with this Mac Tower. You know, once you it's build sexy. it, it's, it's stuck. It's, it's stuck at spec. But what they're doing is they're trying to get people to realize, and they're actually, it's actually kind of smart. It's expensive, but it's smart. Is that the external stuff is so fast now? You don't need to like, oh, you know, I'll buy this computer and I'll get new RAM and a new hard drive for it eventually. It's like, well, no, you just buy the hard drive and it's on the outside. You do it mm-hmm. external and. Been, I just ripped out of, my optical. This is my old MacBook Pro, which I'm actually thinking about replacing. But I ripped out my optical drive and put it in secondary SSD. Yeah, you did it. Fuck no. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah. I had it done because I knew that's what I needed, bitch. It, it's so I, much better. I will never buy a, a drive system ever yeah. again. Yeah. I, I, I think they were really aggressive. I think the biggest problem they made though was with was with the mini, um, and not they priced it too expensive because. The the Nexus Seven, Google's first party seven inch tablet, mm-hmm. is only two hundred and twenty bucks, yeah. and it is fucking top of the line. It is a fantastic. We have one at work. It is super thin. The screen is amazing. Like it is, it is the probably the best deal in electronics possible. Two hundred twenty nine bucks gets you a top of the line tablet with. And Google's ecosystem is is pretty good now. But you can also use Amazon's full ecosystem mm. and and. You know they're not they're not as close minded as Apple in terms of their app strategy. So there's a lot of you know stuff available, and all the major games and apps are now on Google anyways. So yes. still Google, man. <laughs> I, I mean, I I tried using my Galaxy today, my Galaxy S three, because I just bought a Note three, and I'm, I should be getting. Is that the one with the watch? Yeah, and so so Where I'm. You just talk like this all the time. Yeah, <laughs> you, <laughs> well, you know, really you, cool? you go like this. Like, and you take smart. photos underneath dresses when you're walking by. <laughs> oh my god! You know there's gonna be somebody doing that. <laughs> totally. Awesome. Wait, so what, when do bars have like these blockers where they block Google Glass? Like, like, like oh, a man. you buy like a system and it'll just disable them. But yeah. Yeah, I, I've been trying to use my Galaxy because I'm like, all right, you know, I have to start using this shit again because you know I'm bu- I bought this Note for my second phone, and man, I, I just tried to use it all day. What's today. your second phone for? Uh, mostly when I'm traveling in Canada, or it's it's nice to have a phone number that I, I, I have it on Ting, which is uh, going to be you know they're a really cool phone company and it's per minute you know you used type thing. But like my phone bill is like 14 bucks a month, you know, and it's cool to have that. So if somebody has like like I don't want to give this person my real number, yeah. but yeah, I don't yeah. want them to think that I'm, you know. Now the business phone, is, yeah, it's the bat phone, the it's bat your bat phone. phone. Yeah. But yeah, it's so cheap though. T- I highly recommend Ting. Uh, to everyone, but but I've been trying to use the Galaxy. Man, that shit is just like I tried to use it all day today, and it's just so fucking well, that's, that's, horrible. But keyboard, that's because man. you have mm-hmm. at Samsung sticks all their shit on there, and whereas if you're if you go with the the, the, Nexus, the Nexus Seven, it's stock Android, clean. There's no bloatware on it. Yeah, it's but just, what's the bloatware? I mean, like I never open any of the Samsung apps. I'm just using the keyboard. I'm talking like the keyboard, like the texting, and it's just. It's clumsy. It's mm. not. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's that's a, that's the a great thing about Apple. Apple ships a product that will work the same way every time, um, but it, you know they come with their own issues, obviously. But it's price. Like it's you know when when there's a tablet that's yeah. just as good. And listen, if unless you buy all of your music music and movies specifically only on iTunes, you can absolutely get that Nexus Seven and do everything the same. You can watch your Netflix. Almost everyone uses Gmail. Your Gmail is going to work great because it's a Google tablet. Mm-hmm. Um, you can access to all the other stuff. So unless you are hardcore iTunes, there's no reason you can't use that tablet. Yeah, but also I think it's also what is your main computers around you that you use sure. every day. Yeah, because true. like I, you know, I tried to link up to you know my my MacBook, like my contacts on my phone and stuff. It's almost impossible. Like it's you got to cloud that shit these days, man. Yeah. You can't even. I I don't rely on my computer to save any information. I don't have any of my music on my computer, anything like that. My computer is basically a tool at this point. I, I I rely on the cloud for all that stuff, like because I don't I don't yeah, have but to, Apple Cloud is what you're saying. No, I I actually use oh, Google's really? cloud for everything. Really? I, yeah. Wow. Apple's the only thing in Apple's cloud I have is my music. Mm. I just do, I, and it's only because my car works with it really well. <laughs> That's weird. I, I don't really trust the Apple the Google Cloud as much as Apple for really. Some reason. Yeah, I don't. Know oh why. man, I don't trust either. I I, <laughs> I have I, just like all up there in I, space. Since since I've actually been dedicated to using uh, Google as my mail contacts and document mail and, and document cloud, I have not lost a single like you know people like oh I just got a new phone I lost all my contacts yeah. they're either lying because they they like deleted you or 
they're backing all their shit up to an old computer and being like, fuck, it's corrupted. It's like, no, like this is, I, in, in like four or five years that I've had, it's never once been a single issue, huh. ever. Have you, have you tried the new Google streaming device? Oh, the Chromecast. Chromecast. No, okay. I have a, the Apple TV is too fucking awesome. Right. <laughs> Apple TV is such a good deal. So we have one last thing to talk oh my about God, on Muff Side, epic. and it's it's we kind of saved the best for last. I just want to um, read something from an, an an excerpt from this book, if you will. A, a book it's I sent Ryan today. Book. Uh-oh. Already, I have spent too much time training as a ninja. I had too long neglected my duties as president of the United States. How could I, in good conscience, focus my energies on defeating the crazed emperor of Japan while my country was still healing from a war that nearly tore it in half? So this very... That, that's just that. me every other day. Now it's, say the name of this book. It's just <laughs> what I think I <clears throat> Ninjas. Abraham Lincoln, Fuck Lord of the Moon. Yeah. <laughs> Available <laughs> on Kindle for $2.99. <laughs> By the way, I would like to point out that you might think this is just some dumb stoner that wrote this. This is written by a woman. <laughs> Catherine DeVore, yep. not her real name. Hey, yeah. Maybe stoner. maybe it's mommy porn. Turns into mommy porn. Maybe. Don't Probably, stoner. yeah. yeah. Like I think... Fifty Shades of Grey for, for mom nerds. Yeah, mom <laughs> ninja nerds. Mom ninja nerds. Or nerd moms, I should say. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Uh, oh, this is also, I would like to point out, this is part of a trilogy. Ooh. Oh, wow. And you know, like, all, all of the good book series that get turned into movies are trilogies. Of course. Well, this is this new wave of self-publishing on Amazon, because my buddy, an old co-worker, has wrote a couple books in a series called Air Force Gator about an alligator that flies <laughs> airplanes. Like, it's just amazing, this weird... Like it's like B movie yeah. for books. There's yeah. also Abraham Lincoln Ninja Fuckmaster and Abraham Lincoln President Fuck Machine. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> All written in a weekend at a bar. <laughs> so amazing, you guys. I would like to say that that of two reviews, it gets four point five out of five stars. That's awesome that two people <laughs> bought this book. And was like, yes, this is it's decent. Yeah. It's a decent it's book. What Hillary Clinton reads or something, right? <laughs> Who reads that? She yes. used to read like the weirdest <laughs> stuff possible, yeah. Well, monster porn's a huge genre thing. I, Vice yeah. Magazine just did an article on it. Heard. Anyway. Monster anyway. Um, so we are going to be off next weekend because it's Halloween and we have drinking to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be real. Let's do, Let's do shots. Yeah. Let's do shots. Let's do Kenny shots, Loggins. guys. Shots. Let's do shots. Oh my god! Can you guys like make me the shots? I think they're like blowjob shots. Can you make me a blowjob shot? (laughs) I'm nipple. You know, know, guys. You know, I'm gonna go as for Halloween this year. I'm gonna go as a sexy stripper. Oh, (laughs) MG! That's what I was gonna go as. I'm a sexy whore. I took the whore costume and made it sexy. I just made the shirt, the the skirt, a little longer. Actually, I'm gonna get chapless ass. I should go I, sexy Kenny Loggins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Do it. Yeah. Do it. I can't even envision that, which is why I need you to do this costume. So I can envision oh, yeah. it. Yeah. On demand, Kenny Loggins music will play for my butt. That is part of the plan right now. <laughs> That's the only place I can put the speakers, I figure. They can't see it. Yeah. I like to call it when it's like no longer a skirt and it's just become a pussy curtain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're just like, that's that's not... Just a badge cover. Just yeah. barely. Barely. Kind yeah. of. Yeah, kind just of. barely. If you use your imagination. Um, right, Leah Vanderbilt, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Everyone, go go to your website because it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks. And also, right, Leah, you're, she's a member of Team Unicorn, which does wonderful songs. We're going to play one of their probably most famous hits as our outro oh. song. Before we get there, what are you reading? What are you playing? And I guess we already talked about what you're watching. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. So I'm finally finishing Tomb Raider, guys. It's only been <laughs> nice. five months. Nice. I finally got to sit down and finish it. Uh, I'm at 99%. Did you so like it? I'm almost there. I love that game. Yeah. Love that it looks, game. It's it looks beautiful. like they did it good this time. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. It's, super, it's so fun to play. Very brutal too, though. It's very uh, adult. Since uh, Batman uh, Arkham City. No. Um, Arkham Origins. Arkham Asylum. Oh, the first one. Yeah. Yeah. It, this has been the game that I've enjoyed the most playing since then. I think. Um, let's see. Uh, what am I reading? What am I reading? Um, my old standby. I like the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> so I started that on vacation again. It's like the eighth nice. time I've read it. So I'm rereading it. And uh, I've got some young adult books on there that we won't talk about. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next week we'll do my rever- review of the Divergent and Insurgent uh, uh, series. So oh, yeah. you, you and me yeah. on the young A. The young adult. Yep. Yeah. The young A. For That's sure. a terrible nickname for that. Y-A. Genre. Y-A. Terrible. Y-A. I like to call it the young A. Young A. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really into young A, guys. Yeah, you are. <laughs> 
You know, I used to be in a young A, but I grew up. Now, now you're just in NYM. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe you just brought that up on the air. <laughs> what? Uh. In case you didn't know, uh, Nick Ahrens was a centerfold in uh, Young and Modern magazine <laughs> several years true. ago. It's true. Ten That's years right. ago. Ten yeah. years ago. And look how well you've aged. Look at that beard. I'm scratching it right now. It's so manly. The itchy will go away after a while. I conditioned it this morning. Oh, Actually, what? can we let's take a brief moment to talk about the beard because Brian, you are an established beard wearer, and and Nick is new to this game, and he's having right. some trouble. I've, ha- I've had, I've actually had, I lived on a mountain for a year, so I have had a grizzled <laughs> man beard before, like a full on grizzly Adams beard. But when you're up there, everything itches because it's so dry, so it doesn't yeah. matter. But it's it's. I was looking it up last night. There are some hardcore beard people. There are yeah. like beard communities and like I'm the worst beard guy though because I don't like I don't do any of the maintenance that you're supposed to do. Like like my friend like shaves Duncan shaves his little apples, you know, like around his little cheeks and oh like perfect and, yeah. And then then like other guys like all these Armenian guys I know like they're like oh dude you need to trim your neckline and you I trim know. the neckline but like it's not like a perfect. I don't take like a like a protractor and make like a perfect line, you know? I'm just kind of guessing. Right. Yeah. And it's only because I bought the greatest tool in the history of mankind, which is a beard trimmer with a vacuum built in. So what? it makes it, oh, God. Can you come Where over and trip my pubes? Oh. <laughs> They're getting kind of crazy. I, 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 I can. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Calm down here. Okay, so uh, during this podcast, we were drinking Downworld Spile from Windmere Brothers, which were kind enough to hook us up with some beers. Um, on a scale of one to five, how are you guys feeling about this beer? What I don't, it tastes like a little IPA ish. It's, uh, it's, it's an a imperial, it's a pale Indi- lager. It's an imperial India style pale lager yeah. aged in oak spirals. It also tastes kind of strong. It's probably the oak. Nine percent. It's good. Nine percent. Yeah, I'm I gonna think give it's good. This one to three. Ugh. Really? Yeah, I was gonna say it's a little too it's a little too hot forward, and I have a personal dislike of of things aged in oak because I don't like that oaky flavor. Yeah, Mm. that's me. But um, if you do like oak flavors and a strong hoppy beer, uh, downward spiral is a good choice. And like Nick said, it is nine percent, so it will get you fucked up. Yeah, I could feel the nine percent. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like those nine (laughs) inches. I'm gonna give you later. Oh. What the fuck? Why am I trying to get all of my inappropriateness out before my dad gets to town? So, sorry, Riley of Vanderbilt. That's all you got? You're growing up, man. <laughs> it's okay, Ryan Keeley. Okay. Okay, so the Downward <clears throat> Spile from Winmer Brothers, I think I'm going to give it a solid three, which means it's drinkable, but it's three. Yeah, not something three. that I'd go three. to every day. That's yeah. good. Three. All right. I'm not drinking it, but I did have Bonsai Bunny today. Have you guys had that? I saw it on the Instagram. Blueberry sake, cold sake. It's How was it? It's the gayest drink you could possibly drink as but a guy. But was it delicious? delicious? But it's the most delicious thing ever. Of course. The gayest drinks <laughs> taste amazing. Are you kidding? All the guys out there going like, yeah, I'll get that, you know, that uh, whiskey. That's, that's good. They're like in their head, they're going, you know what? A fucking sweet tart is a really delicious drink. Like, yeah. It's super fucking good. <laughs> I know. It what? Like candy. Shots. Can we do gummy shots? bear shots? I'm working on a bit right now shots. all about this, shots. about how like there's so many things that you can't do because people just go, you're gay, dude. Why do you, you know, where's your, your, you know, you're a fag. And, you know, like, people just automatically like DPs. yell at you. Mm-hmm. Because people just assume that, you know, you can't do a DP. <laughs> Even though you're totally pounding at a hot chick, you just can't do it because your balls are slapping against another guy's balls. Someone thinks that's gay. <laughs> Yeah, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> like Joe Rogan used to say, you're just using the girl as a container to touch dicks. Right? That's a good bit, though, because there's a lot of like stuff. Like I, I fuck, I, I, I really like style and fashion. Yeah. But if I if I talk about it too much, like, oh, all right, right. Yeah, it's it's true. Right. I like small dogs. Yeah, and, and I, you do. And you and have I a tiny... own a, and I own a beetle, and I live in a pink house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I got really excited about my new couch cover the other day. Like I was like, "Fuck, this is." Like, it's true. Look, We've had multiple gonna, conversations. This about is it. gonna look really nice in my apartment. <laughs> really nice. I put a hot dog in my butt and, saw, <laughs> and like shot it out and just to see how far I'm it. I'm worried about if I'm gay. Um, <laughs> I'm, I look, I'm looking forward to see this bit. Yeah, me too. If people want to see your bits, when are you next doing comedy, Brian Redband? Um, next Thursday, Halloween, we'll be at American Comedy Company in San Diego, and you can go to uh, AmericanComedyCode.com for uh, tickets, and it's going to be with a bunch of secret guests. we got uh, Tony Hinchcliffe, Sam Tripoli, uh, Brody Stevens is going to be there, Billy Bonell, uh, and there's a secret guest. I can't talk about who it is, but... Uh, Their secret guests are always it's, fancy. Yeah, it's huge. It's and, totally going to be awesome. And then the fo- and then the, uh, November 20th, I'm going to be in uh, San Francisco at Punchline with Dean Delaray, and in December, I'll be in, in San Jose, and I'm putting the show together right now. 
Cool. You are you are a busy oh. busy comic, my friend. Fuck yeah, it's blowing up. It's awesome. Red band's so taking over. Yeah. Uh, so. Riley, where can people find you on the webs? Uh, well, my website is RileyaVanderbilt.com, R-I-L-E-A-H, Vanderbilt, like the university. Uh, on-